There's, <laughs> on Duncan Norvell's Wikipedia, <laughs> there is a subheading, entertainment career, current life, catchphrases, <laughs> and Jen <laughs> checks That's only that's one it. catchphrase. <laughs> we might have some more. That's well, the, well, let's, if you, I think people should go they? to Duncan no, Norvell's Wikipedia page and suggest. Oh, you're encouraging actual graffiti, people can take I'm this down. I'm encouraging it. Go on to, and don't put rubbish, homophobic things. A lot of you no, do little pranks on no, Wikipedia that aren't stupid. funny. Some of you do ones that are funny. Don't do stupid ones. Do something clever. If you can't think of something clever, shut up. Yeah, fuck just Follow the example of me. Yes. And if you can't think of something clever or funny, just don't <laughs> say anything at all. Uh, but go to no- Duncan Norvell's page and suggest some new catchphrases. Yeah. Well. And then he could do them. But not, right? not then if he, if he does them. Yeah. Well, he's, um, it's, uh, it's odd to go... Don't go to Duncan Norvell's with yeah. Pedro. Don't put homophobic ones on like he would do. Do ones that aren't homophobic. <laughs> he isn't gay. He's not homophobic. He is. He's, he isn't gay and he's going... He's suggesting chase me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing that. I think that should, be his, that think that should be his catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> My Facebook page, you'll know that yes. you probably are aware Interesting. that uh, Facebook last weekend, when I was away in Belgium, but uh, uh, Facebook allowed you to choose a domain name for your page because before it was always just a long string of numbers so it's hard to let people know yeah. what your Facebook page was like because I've got two Facebook pages. Fuck off the other one, people who don't know me, because yeah. that's for my friends. Yeah. Leave that one alone. Yeah. Uh, but there's another one now which is called now called Real Richard Herring, www.facebook.com, I think, slash Real Richard Herring. Because someone, over the weekend when I was in Belgium having a romantic weekend away... Eating some chocolate, uh, having a beer. Eating chocolate and beer. Looking and, at a boy weeing. There was that was rubbish. Uh, anyway, someone stole my uh, identity, and they called their Facebook page Richard Herring. Then the person who's done it, if you go to Facebook.com, if you go to were Facebook.com, uh, see it's catching on. There were Facebook.com Richard Herring slash Richard Herring black flash flash Richard Herring. Flat, flat. I didn't even do it myself. So it's not catching on. <laughs> it's even caught on in your own mind. www.were. dot <laughs> I don't think you should ever give out. Facebook never com. give out URLs on. It sounds Whoa. terrible. HTTP colon oh. flash flash a tupper to get that water. <laughs> a tupper colon's too long. A tupper dot. This is the worst. <laughs> a colon should be dot dot because it's two dots over each other. So it's no because that suggests they're next to each other. You've got to stack them. A tupper dot dot. If you do that, dot dot. Well, how about, how about this? A titter, a tupper, dot! That's like two dots are on top of each other. No, it's, it's not. loud. You've got to do yeah, it louder. Loud, but if it's literally on a top tup, of it. A titter, a dot! Now a dot will be one typed on top of another dot. A tup, colon, flash, flash, you, uh, six V. Flash is no quicker than six, saying flash. I know, it's like still that. better, it's cooler. Uh, Facebook, you can't change that, dot com, flash, Richard Herring. If you go to that, you'll find it goes to the page of a man called Virgilio Anderson. Who is Virgilio Anderson? Who lives in Macedonia. Why has he taken my name? I don't know. He's in Macedonia. It's kind of you random see a, you see a picture of situationism. Of him. He's like a man standing... Yeah, um, show me him. I'm, I'm like... It's Richard Herring. There he is. I'm just putting in... A tupper... Dot! Yeah. Flash, flash. <laughs> dot Facebook.com. Dot Richard Herring. Uh, here he is. Virgilio Anderson. He looks a bit like Tom Basden, I he think. He needs to do some uh, decorating. Well, he has. He's got like a big... He's standing in this ha- doorway... And All them wired big, wires coming it's, down it's there. Maybe a decorator. I think it needs rewiring. I sent him a, a message to say, can you just explain me to me why you've taken my name? And maybe, yeah. you know, Virgilio Anderson. It's a very unusual It's a name. lovely name, actually. So I've been trying to find out who Virgilio Anderson is. I'm encouraging people on my blog yeah. to graffiti the words, who is Virgilio Anderson, everywhere they can. I'm having some T-shirts made. Uh, I will, if they're popular, I will sell them. Yeah, sell who them. Is, I've, try, I've tried to make it a hot topic on Twitter. But it didn't get the trending topic. It's not happening. Uh, there are a lot of people who retweeted it. Who is Virgilio Anderson? Why has he taken my name? I know. Maybe some other... Re- you know, he lives in Macedonia. Maybe there's another well, Richard Herring. If you look at the picture, he's got uh, jeans and white T-shirt on. Yeah. But he's also wearing a bag. He's wearing a bag. I don't think... I think he's a, a transient. Very so much. if you know who Virgilio Anderson is, he may not live in Macedonia. That might be a joke. He may be trying to get people to add him as a friend. He might have some kind it's of a really business. Weird roundabout way I mean, why, it. if you're going to choose a celebrity, yeah. why Pick choose a celebrity? Me? Yeah. So I don't think it's. I, I think there's a very good chance it's nothing to do with me at Maybe. all. We could criticise his paucity of ambition. <laughs> yeah, we could. But then maybe he's, he's a comedian. He's got a comedy character yeah. called Richard Herring. He thought that'd be a funny name, Dicky Fish. Um, he doesn't. He's unaware of my existence. Or there's a thousand things it could be. But um, we've got to find him. If he is a fan of mine. 
And it's a really annoying, stupid thing to it do. It is, yeah. To take my name. It means you people are going to... If people are looking for me, they're going to go there and go, oh, it's Virgilio Anderson. Now I've made him into a kind of bigger celebrity than me. <laughs> my, my final... My, my hope with this is that Virgilio Anderson will end up being more successful than I am as a result of me promoting him. Uh, but it's annoying. You know, if you were looking for me, if you thought, oh, I love Richard Herring... Now you've got to go to W. You've got to go to Hutapa. What dot? <laughs> six V. Six V. Six V. Six V. Facebook dot com flash real Richard Herring. Yeah. Well, I'm I, I've been uh, I'm still using a monthly travel pass right on the uh, under, underground and overground trains of London. Who is Virgilio Anderson? And we now know something about Virgilio Anderson. His yeah. interests are investing. Yeah. That's his interest, investing. Wow. Woodworking. They're kind of opposed interests, but that's what yeah. I quite like. He's making money. Favourite films, this is brilliant. Yeah. Drama, thrillers, other. No, that's actually, you like all dramas. And all thrillers. thrillers and all other films. Well, that's nearly all films. <laughs> well, if it's other, it's other, it could be. Well, other could be other. Why, just other. horror films. I don't know. <laughs> He's showing that he's brought one. This is better. Favourite books, this is Are better. Are you sure this isn't made this up? Is, this is this isn't. very funny. Favourite books, non-fiction, <laughs> fiction, <laughs> other. And poetry. Okay. So, <laughs> so he likes he likes books that are, are made up. Yeah, from he likes nothing. books. That are true. Absolutely true. And he likes other books as well. Yeah. I want to know what the other books That's are. That's tiny I want sliver. to find a book that is neither fact fiction or non-fiction I or think poetry. It's faction. Because still... there is a thing, isn't it, where it's a fiction Maybe. but it's based on fact. But I think you meant to put specific books in there, not just genres. That's how I always understand like a, that question, like, yeah. I love all non-fiction yeah. and What's all your fiction book? books. Non-fiction. <laughs> I love non-fiction. No, wait, and fiction. And yeah. all other books. Yeah. But me, I think he's trying to pull uh, either men or... We yeah. don't know his sexuality. No, we don't. He might be bisexual, it might be men or it might be women. Yeah. Uh, but I think he's trying to look... He doesn't want to put... It could be any... men, women, it could be other. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he doesn't want to put... Uh, he doesn't want to put anyone off, no, so he's, no. he doesn't want to like express a bold opinion. No, uh, I'm I, what I really want is people to start uh, graffitiing who is Virgilio Anderson and I am Virgilio Anderson over everything, like posters in big letters, so that it becomes like a, a viral craze. Like um, what, who, George Davis is innocent. Yeah, that yeah. like that, but also like, star. also like those kind of things that they try to you know tell Sid I came. Yeah. That kind of thing. There were there were always those like tell Sid I came. Yeah. It was a completely different one. <laughs> it was, it was good. Not, most people didn't like that. Tell Sid <laughs> I came. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you Sid should ask. He could ask. Tell Sid I came. <laughs> <laughs> That's her <laughs> face. What a brilliant campaign That's it was. That out. was what happened if under you Thatcher. See, you, that was the end of the campaign. <laughs> If you see Sid, tell him I came. We're not going to carry on. This hasn't happened in the podcast before. We used to be able to play a record. You can go into that. Uh, and support. now, Maximo Park. <laughs> that is, um, that is anyway, so, so much better than the original campaign. <laughs> tell Sid I came. People would love that. They'd be just going around the whole country saying... Uh, well, put that on as well. But I who is for Jim Anderson, tell us about, But most of them are adver advertising the product. We're not trying to advertise anything. No, no. We're just trying to create some mischief yeah. in the world. Because yeah. we could be in your home. We could be in your home. Let us do it anymore. No so no now we have to go advice. out and just put things in the world that are confusing so their fault. and wrong. Yeah. So we can blame the nerds at Wikipedia. So ever uh, any site, write it on your bags, write it on your, yeah, your right school. Yeah, write exercise books. <laughs> write it on your pencil cases. Yeah. Who is Virginia What if some people listening aren't at school? <laughs> because got I actually, lives. I went out in the street, which, what, you know, for two, for the last week and a previous week, I've had a hit, hit the moustache. It's yes. still there. I've still, I'm, I'm, keeping, kind of forgotten I'm sticking it. with it. Yeah. Uh, I've had one comment. Last week someone showed it, Oi, Adolf, at me and got his friends. Oi, look, it's Adolf. Uh, I carried on walking because there were four quite hard young men. I was worried I might get attacked. Uh, <laughs> At I'll least I knew their history. I should have done a little sea kyle at them, and I think they'd have liked yeah. it, but I was too scared. But I went out. The minute I, w I went out to, with this T-shirt on uh, last night to Who my gig, so I apologise for it being a bit sweaty, because um, <laughs> I thought I'd wear it in the gig. And uh, within 30 seconds of me being out on the street, I've had a hit and a for two weeks, not commented on in the whole of Shepherd's Bush. A man came out, a man came out of a fast food shop. He saw me and went... Who is Virginia Anderson? In my face. Oh, God. Uh, and then I heard a woman going, I don't, and the third one going, who is it? I don't know who it is. Wow. It created this. Wow. Amazing, and I just, I just kind of shrugged my shoulders because that, you shouldn't be asking me. I'm, yeah. I'm wearing the T-shirt because I want yeah, to know. Exactly. But anyway, back to Virginia well, Anderson. Well, what is interesting to me is that the man who shouted that out must spend all day shouting things out as he walks around the world. It was a bit, I could see Ralph him. Lauren. I saw him look at Tommy me. Tommy Hilfiger. I saw him looking at me. I was like, oh, God, this is good because I'm really terrified that 
I think no one cares about my toothbrush moustache, no. but all that's going to happen is someone who is mentally ill is going to take exception to me and attack me and, and kill me. But that could happen any time. Yeah, it could happen any time. Without, without the moustache. But mentally I think ill. The moustache oh, draws attention. You're drawing attention to yourself, and then that's, that is like a... It's like a, fl- a candle flickering flame to the, m- the, to the mentally ill moth. Yeah, it's true. Uh, and uh, so I'm kind of worried about it. But I, I could see it. I saw he clocked me and I saw he, he sort of lunged at me. And I thought, oh God, this is it. I'm going to die for my art. Uh, but no, he just shouted out, who's Virginia Anderson? Well, I can tell you, I don't know who he is, but I know a lot some about stuff him. about him. Yeah. About me. He gets into more detail about me. Yeah, come on then. Uh, I've been a mature, responsible and patient guy. He's patient. That's I nice. think we can test that patience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a really easy person to get a along with. It's, it's actually got a long... To get different... a long with. Yeah, so that's, that's a saucy euphemism, yeah, isn't it? That's a, a Macedonian euphemism. Well, and euphemism. this is a bit of a euphemism as well. Head games are totally not my thing. Why have you stolen my name? Yeah, that's a totally... Your head that's a head game and not told me... Then not to tell me, yeah. that's a complete head game. You're you fucking with my head, Virgilio Anderson. Why don't you leave me alone? He's a liar, then. He is a liar. He's a liar. He's having to go, I'm very fond of uniquely constructed buildings. That's very but sweet. aren't all buildings pretty much uniquely constructed? Yeah, some of them are the same as the next building, aren't they? So They're I uniquely assume... constructed, though, aren't they? But that could be yeah. anything. You know, I could do a shit on a piece of... I could make <laughs> a gigantic... Of paper. I could do shit on a piece of paper, yeah. mould that into a building. <laughs> Al Murray's daughter, Apparently Scarlett, who I've looked. written about in my book, uh, was there was a time a few years ago where she said to me, uh, her mum said to her, do you... She'd been round to my house, she said, what do you think of Richard's house? She said, Richard's house is we, and Richard's house is poo. Did uh, you say that? That's what she said. All right. And then... How old uh, was she? And then you and said Richard's house, Richard's house is bum. She was four years old. Right. Uh, That's a really good assessment. Richard's house is bum, is what she said. And then right. I came back at her, and I said, well, your... <laughs> yeah, you've got to get I back. said, well, your house came out of a bum. Right? Yeah. So that is the same as what I'm talking about now. And then she was really laughing at me, and then she cried. She couldn't... The satirist barbed word really? return on her, and she couldn't take... She cried her eyes out. When we said, our oh, house came out of a bum. And I had to apologise, and even though she started... I mean, she said... My house was wee and bum yeah. and poo. And poo. Does and, it come uh, out yeah. of a bum? And, and then I go, your house has come out of a bum, and oh, suddenly you can't take it. And she is the oh. great, 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 great granddaughter of William Thackeray, William Ringpiece Thackeray. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> you'd think she could take it. I'm going to send a shit, I'm going to make yeah. a shit house, and then I'm going to send a picture of it to Virgilio Anderson and go, how'd you like that? Thank My favourite bit about Virgilio Anderson Virginia about Anderson. himself is his political views are very liberal. Yeah. I also like, yeah, this is him, we right. see the heart of Virgilio Anderson. Okay. I also like walking in the rain and hearing the raindrops hitting the sidewalk. Message me if you'd like to talk. That He's is his definitely. little, that's his little romantic yeah. thing to try and draw it going, look, I like, hey, I'm looking to investing and I'm, but inside, Virgilio Anderson has the soul of a punk poet, that's what he's saying. Now I think, how much does he like walking in the rain and hearing raindrops hitting the sidewalk? Because that's all right on a one-off occasion. But to put that as your interest, that suggests to me, to every me, time it rains in yeah. Macedonia, yeah. Virgilio Anderson goes out into the street and listens to the rain hitting the sidewalk yeah. all the time. But so if you message him and he's like, oh, getting on quite well, you yeah, know, this is not, we're in the rain, getting a bit wet. Listen to the rain, listen to the... I've listened, I've heard them, it's the same every time. We can't hear... Can we just, dis- what about your political views, Virginia? Can we yeah. discuss that? No, oh, shut up! I'm listening to the raindrops hitting the sidewalk. <laughs> Don't talk! I can't hear the raindrops. No, he's mature. He's, that he's, sounds slightly he's, immature. He doesn't, it sounds like he's mentally, I'm oh, not saying he's not mentally Anderson ill. is mentally no, of course Ill, not. But if the kind of person who goes out is one of his main interests is going out into the street, he doesn't even go to the forest, he goes into the street and hears it hitting the sidewalk. I don't think he really believes that. He's put that in to try and ensnare romantic He's done it to make it romantic, or, but if you think boys. it's romantic once, but even what any more than one time, if you get your, just uncomfortable, yeah. unpleasant, so, your shit house will start melting in the rain. Oh well, yeah, not melting as such, but yeah. <laughs> diluted. I suppose it become diluted. I think that he's just saying that. And also, I was, why did he take yeah. my name? Why? Oh, Who is Virgilio Anderson? I cannot answer that. If you care about this podcast, we do this for free. All I ask for you, unlike is Ian one Lee, thing, yeah. <laughs> all I care about is everyone. Just big six foot high letters over. National monuments. Go to Buckingham Don't Palace. Don't do any of these right? things. Who is Virgilio Anderson across that? Graffiti there. the world until we get to the point where people try to find out who he is. That point, until Virgilio here. Anderson is brought to the country to by the One there. Show or something, so people can say, "Who are you, Virgilio Anderson?" We we'll turn him there. into a cult figure. Go over and then to that the, might, then the he might get, of Macedonia. Then he might get a girlfriend or a boyfriend, whatever he is up to. <laughs>